guys! Welcome back to my channel. Come and join me as we explore the world of literature from classics to contemporary and as we develop ourselves by reading self-management books and doing physical exercise. God, it's Friday, but I've got no work, so that's for you. I hope you're having a great Friday. I've decided that I'm gonna read Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte because it's classic and everybody knows about it, but not me. So better to read it first before the contemporaries. Before we dive into the novel, I would like to inform you that I got a free copy of the ebook in the Project Gothenburg website. They offer thousands of free classical ebooks, so obviously I'm gonna use my Kindle Paperwhite. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte was published in 1847. It dealt about the feeling of a woman in that period of time, and it also talked about the struggles and desires of a woman amid social conditions. The novel started with a 10-year-old Jane living with her uncle's family. They sent her to charity school which was the Lockwood institution and she experienced a lot of hardships in that school and then when she's a grown woman she worked as a governess and then she met Edward hmm we know that it will get romantic here but we also know that when there's love things get complicated <laughs> But yeah, I think this novel will be one of a roller coaster ride. There will be happiness and excitement and then sadness, crying, wailing. But I picked up this book because I thought it would be like Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. It was, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that it's my favorite classic book because I've got a lot of favorite classic books, but I'm just gonna say that this book was so, so, so good. I read the summary of Jane Eyre, so I know the plot of the story, and I know I shouldn't do it, but I did, so yeah, I'm guilty. But you know, it's classic, so I'm supposed to know, right? I think my chin was bitten by an insect because it got a little bit swollen, but yeah, that's all for today's vlog. I hope you're having a great Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Hey guys, it's already Saturday and I hope you're having a great day. I'm already at chapter 5 and it blew me away. Okay, so yeah. I don't know what to say. Little 3rd year old Jane was being ostracized. She was, I don't know, I was out of words because she suffered a lot as soon as the novel began. She suffered a lot just for existing. I felt search of emotions, I felt angry, I was looking for justice and I concluded that I missed a lot by delaying reading Jane Eyre. But you know, I'm reading it now, so yeah, I'm so happy for myself. I'm proud of myself and I'm so excited reading this. The book has 38 chapters and I have a long way to go, but that's all for today and I hope you're having a great Saturday. I'll see you tomorrow. Great Sunday everyone! I hope you're having a quiet and peaceful Sunday. Earlier, I was planning to read a lot and watch anything on Netflix, but I don't know what happened. I lie down on the bed for hours and before I know it, it's already late. The moon is shining bright. <laughs> I just read one chapter, which is of course chapter 6, but I'm planning to continue more, of course, with the power of the Risas and Cheetos. Yay! I'm already at the part where Jane was at the Lowell Institution and the dogs are so noisy, but I don't know. Please just bear with me. Um, yeah, where am I at? So yeah, Jane's, trans Jane's transition was so abrupt. I mean, from milk and bread to overcooked potato soup. Does that make sense? I mean from riches to rags. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on reading as far as I could go.
Hey guys, great Monday. How's your day going so far? I want to be productive today by reading a lot. So I woke up a little late today. I ate my breakfast and I drank my tea. I chose chamomile tea because I was feeling a little anxious today. So yeah, I needed that to soothe my nerves. I read a chapter or two and then I cook lunch. And then after that, I resume back to reading. And then <laughs> here I find myself filming. Much as I want to continue on reading, I cannot afford to miss on telling you about the extremities of Jane's life. She had a nice friend. In fact, that was her only friend. They had fun memories together. They get used to with each other, but her friend died with an illness. That was so tragic. I keep on getting amazed by the darkness of the novel. I mean, could it get any darker? I'm so excited to find out. From then on, Jane skipped 8 years of her life. She was already 18 years old when she continued her narrative. I was planning to give you more details but I decided to keep my mouth shut because of too much spoilers but before that since i read the summary i know the plot i know this how the story would go but you know there's no other better feeling when i'm fully immersed in the novel yeah that being said i'm gonna keep on reading hey guys three hours has passed i'm already at chapter 15 and yada 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 jane Eyre and edward met she was working as a governess where Edward was the master of the house. I think I get a little bit excited only to be disappointed because I thought it was a love of fir it was a love at first sight with all of its craziness, but it was not. Which was actually okay because Edward was the master of the house and Jane Eyre was not so good in appearance, but I think I expected a little too much. Edward was getting in my nerves because he was so bossy. But he's the boss. Because he was so snob. Typical character of a boss. He was not handsome. He was not masculine. Well, that was according to the point view of Jane Eyre, not me. But <laughs> yeah, that's all for today's vlog. I hope you guys are having a great Monday and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Tuesday! I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I read a good chunk in the book and I'm freaking delirious right now. The novel really intrigued me because I, in every possible way, predicted the plot in a wrong way. I mean, we all know that they fell in love with each other but who fell in love first or was it an unrequited love? I don't know, a lot has happened in the story. Shall I say it? Will I say it? Um, okay, let me put it this way. Jane went back to her uncle's family for a, pur pur for a purpose, excuse me, and then she went back to her master's house, Edward's house. The novel was of no doubt creepy. There were vivid descriptions of something eerie, there were ghosts, and then later on vampires, draining of blood. But yeah, Jane was depressed, not because uh, she's scared, but because of the inevitable marriage of her master and a noble lady. They were finally saying farewell to each other, but then Jane broke down. She could not contain her feelings anymore. She cried. And then you guys, guess what happened? Edward proposed. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> and yeah, I get a little bit excited, but you know... It's always better in fiction. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm already at chapter 24 and let's call it a day. I hope you're having a great Tuesday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Great Wednesday. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. Today I'm planning to finish the book. I'm already at chapter 24 and I'm in such a mood. I've been happy and sad and confused and angry, but overall, I envy Jane for her strong spirit. She was able to stood tall in her feet even though she was so scared and she wanted to cling back to Edward. Edward talked a lot for a man. I think it's impossible to exist in the real world because he's very romantic, but oh, 
the novel was very melancholy. So, so sad. I could not tell you why, but Jane left Edward and they were both devastated. Typical emotion of a heartbreak, right? Yeah, but you know, it's hard to figure out the right thing to do when you're in that situation. But yeah, I have a long way to go. I don't know if I can finish the book today, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll update you later. Hey guys, so just a little update. It's already 5.30 p.m. and I'm already at chapter 33. And I really want to finish the book. I don't know if I can, not unless I spend the evening also in reading. So yeah, I feel like I'm back in the university once again, which is so cool if I'm being honest. But yeah, I think I'm doing it. I'm reading. And it feels like a 24-hour reading vlog. Jane left Edward without money. That's brave, Jane. That's brave. But yeah, she was not spared of hardships. In fact, she almost died. But I'm not going to give you any particular details. So fast forward a little bit. She was now working as a village teacher. And... She got new associations. I'm already at chapter 33. Still strong, maintaining momentum, keeping up the face. I'll see you later. I just have two more chapters left and I'm done. I will definitely finish it tonight. So yeah, I'll see you later for the last update. It's 10 o'clock p.m. and I'm done. What a day spent in reading. Okay, to cut it short, the novel was a happy ending story. I don't like happy ending stories, but for what it's worth, I give it full five stars and i definitely recommend it i'm closing this vlog jane eyre was a sad and gothic novel which ended in happiness thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the bell so you can see every time i upload a video don't forget to comment down below what are your suggestions what books are you reading or are we reading the same book Either way, please let me know as I would love to hear from you. I will see you on my next vlog. Bye!